Here in the northern Philippines, in the land of the Igret people, there is no word for trash or for waste. There is no concept of something that is useless or that has no more value. Everything fits back into the circle of life. Unfortunately, we live in a world today where we have a way of thinking that emphasizes buying, using, and throwing away. And all too often, what we throw away simply does not fit back into the circles of life. Often it is made from toxic molecules or from heavy metals that are poisonous to us and to the environment. Before I learned to make the eco bricks, I used to burn uh, basura. And uh, the problem is we do not have basura actually. Nam nandira bibisitay umali basta no sumaada syempre. Mun una kay sumate ala sayset na isbet. Wadan matay nan pala nga mun saud sinan ning cave. No umali akala na ibati amin basura it city sa dam blao. Mun permina na idan ay so nga sa andot nan agsapa. No umali ak sin agsapa tay masasapa kay umali habang nga med pala bisita. Maliak ala sayset. We're confronted with this on a daily basis, where to put our waste. We've thus crafted over the last two years Vision EcoBricks, a way for anyone, anywhere to put their trash to use. Without the need for funding, without the need for grants, for special machinery, for special skills, or politicians, anyone, anywhere can take charge of their waste. First, the response was uh, negative. They were saying actually that where, where on earth will we get all those trash to be placed in the, yeah, in the bottles? We've worked really hard to craft the Vision EcoBrick technology so that it's imminently replicable anywhere here in the villages in the northern Philippines. We try to use as much local organic materials as possible that are available anywhere. So of course the trash and the plastic are available anywhere. And so too is the clay, the pitak, that we use for the mortar between the bricks. Here the boys are sifting sand that comes from the river. This is the trough where we mix up the sand, the pitak, and the rice straw that is used as a binder for the mortar to hold it together. And then over here we have the bricks that are being laid out into the sign, the motto of the school, honesty is the best policy. With the EcoBrick building, we try to minimize the use of cement. Cement is one of the largest contributors of greenhouse gases on the planet. It does have its uses, so it makes a great foundation for the bricks, and it makes a great outer skin for the benches to make them waterproof and imper impermeable, so they last a long time. What happens with standard bottle bricks that are packed with trash and used with traditional cements for construction is that we have a construction that 10, 20 years from now when it comes to its end and is destroyed, when the school has to move, when something expanded, these bottles are removed, but it's impossible to remove the bottles without the stiff hard cement rupturing the plastic and all of this garbage escaping again. So our problem really isn't solved, it's just pushed forward to future generations. With Vision Eco Bricks, we've carefully designed this, one, to use local organic materials, but two, so that in the future, when this construction comes to an end, these Eco Bricks can be easily extricated, reused to make another garden, to make another green space, or something else beautiful for the community. When I learned how to uh, make these eco bricks, 
the trash to recycle, how to recycle. I got the interest to, I got the interest to do it also. And Russell came, he also gave me the idea how to build. So he built uh, my uh, wall, he started my benches outside and uh, that gave me the idea to continue. So I did it and now I'm enjoying making the trash into... Yeah. Many times I go outside and collect trash and uh, put it into the bottle, coke bottles. Not only the cellophane plastic, but also the uh, gin bottles. Na enrogi kini March last year. Kat nomami iti dam damu ada 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 ti ubing katulong ko ng may idi sa pasaruno may mas kung nagaramit iti unig ungoing pa lang. Ado pa lang ti arap maramit ko pa lang ng Kinayak mo't? Nga ba yung mesa? Nga mga ara-arabid? Itas mo't? Saan ito mas kapagayam? Mas nukas ito gayam kat mas kaya ang tibabahi? Ano... Agto gawak takit kita tinarabi ko katuwa. Kinayak gayam. Nakayak gayam. So we take something that once was used, thrown away, and put it back into a circle, using these over and over again. The most important thing about EcoBricks, though, is not so much this, but how it gets to the roots of the problem. Not so much the actual material, but the thoughts and the way of thinking that are at the root of the problem. Magsimula po nang gumawa kami ng bricks. Makikita po yung magandang resulta kasi lahat po nang wala na po masyadong kalat dito sa aming lugar. Pati na rin po sa mga tindahan, lahat po ng mga basura, makikita po natin na laging empty yung mga trash cans kasi kuha ng mga parents para, para gawin na rin ng kanilang mga anak at ipa, para ipasa dito sa paaralan. Kaya instead of burning the cellophanes that, uh, which may contribute in polluting our environment, Uh, yung paggawa na ng eco bricks is nakatulong na doon para maiwasan na yung mga pollution, yung mga kalat at the same time tas napaganda na rin yung environment natin kasi nalinisan na natin kahit pa paano. We're here in the small community of Antidao where as in so many other communities what to do with the plastics and non-biodegradables. Antidao has approximately 81 households mm -hmm. and uh, The plastics and the non-biodegradables have no place to go other than the forest and the fields eventually. Um, however, here over the last year, we have observed a remarkable shift in the composition and the size of the dump sites. Uh, not only the students sir, who do the echo bricking, because even the parents help in uh, segregating their waste at home, So that what are only dumped here are those trash, non-biodegradable trash that could not be placed into the eco brick. So the whole community actually are partners in the eco bricking, which solved our problem actually in this dump site. Actually, one one comment which we have uh, learned from the parents is there is now bonding. Child or the whole family are bonding together. It was her first time to be with a kid na lalaki na laging wala sa bahay. Laging after classes, uuwi yan, kakain, and then wala na, malis na sa bahay. With the introduction of this, he finds time to stay at home because he has to fill in his battle bricks. Right, well, that's wonderful. <laughs> Maganda to kasi sa amin ng nanay ko. But, um, parang uh, naging isa itong banding para sa amin. Pag uh, pag-uwi ko sa bahay, nagkita ko siyang nagsusutsut. <laughs> Stapling. Ganun. Stapling. Tapos, kwentuhan.
As we meditatively pack our eco-brick, and it takes a lot of work, we have time to reflect on each piece of waste that we put in and slowly see that it's not so much waste, but it's something useful, that it's a resource, it's something not to throw away, it's something to segregate. And in this way, we have communities all around the northern Philippines working together where their trash is evaporating and there's no more waste, their dump sites are being reduced, and we see beautiful green spaces being built collaboratively in communities around the province. Gardens, parks, play areas where people can come together and experience a place that is in harmony with nature. And in this way, we can bring our lives and our communities back in harmony with the circles of life.